tendering to his authority. The word of God is the ultimate authority that we have. God gave us. That's kind of like when we went up to um, Pigeon Forge or we go up to uh, Myrtle Beach. I have a road map. How many remember road maps? I, I said a road, I brought, brought a road map out to the new generation and they had no idea what it was. Because they look at it on the phone nowadays. I'm too old school for that. I got to look on that map and see where those highways are. But you know, God gave us his word to be the road map for our lives. And you know, a lot of people think that God is cruel and he's waiting there to pound on us when we step out of line. That's not our God. Our God is love, the scripture says. He's waiting to have a personal relationship with us. I was thinking about how in that major area, in the feed trough, baby Jesus is laying there. And every all the animals were around, and guess what? They were on their knees. And then the people came, and they bowed down to this baby because the Spirit of God was upon the Lord Jesus. Even when he was a baby, he was laying there. People knew that he was born to be the Savior of the world. I'd just like to say a prayer this morning, and then we're going to sing a few, uh, a few Christmas songs. And if maybe you haven't ever accepted Jesus as your Lord and Savior, or maybe you walk kind of away. You know, when I got saved, my mother prayed for me for 30 years. And then finally, the Lord got a hold of me and saved me. And when I was 30, and I've been preaching the gospel for 40, how old am I? 72, 42 years now. But you know, it was the greatest thing I ever did in my life. Growing up back in the 50s and the 60s, it was all about me, me, me. And now it's about him, amen. But if I'm just going to say a prayer and maybe you just say this in your heart to the Lord. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord, that you came into this world. That you died for me. You died for us. That we may have eternal life. And right now, Lord, I recognize I've missed the mark. We've all missed the mark. We've fallen short of the glory of God. So right now, Lord God, I dedicate myself to you. I rededicate this day to you. Let everything 